again, my name is Gabe Zola. This is the 28th of January, 2019. You know, I did a video a short while ago. I asked folks to reach out to Governor Ron DeSantis and have him open up an investigation into the Parkland school shooting. And I've done a whole series of videos when that took place. I believe that Nicholas Cruz, he's an MK Ultra brainwashed graduate. That'll be the title of this video. And I attached three links. One of the links shows Nicholas Cruz's brother sitting in an interview room where Nicholas Cruz is wearing looks like a hospital gown and he's obviously handcuffed. His hands are behind his back, I assume. And his brother says, You're not right in your head. I agree. He's not right in his head. He was completely and totally brainwashed. You know, if you did any watching the videos that I did back then, I've attached two other links to this video as well. One of those links is of the school teacher, Stacy LaPelle, and you hear what she has to say when she looked down the hall and she said, what are the police doing here? Wearing a mask, full body armor, helmet, carrying a rather awesome looking weapon. She was actually shot in her arm. The school teacher in the next class over was shot in his head. He was killed. Nicholas Cruz bought a shotgun. He didn't buy an AR-15 from Dick's Sporting Goods. Don't know where he got the shotgun I say that he used at that school shooting. There's uh, another video that I attached as well and it was taken from a helicopter and it shows four what appear to be SWAT and they're leaving the scene of a horrific act of shooting. They're leaving the scene of a shooting and they're carrying a large duffel bag that looked rather heavy. Well, it was heavy because it contained all their weapons. It contained the Air-15s that they used. I wonder if ballistics were ever done on those bodies and you'll see that they came from different weapons. They didn't come from a single gun. There was another video that I saw that I did videos on as well that had another school teacher say that he heard voices. The door is locked. Then he heard, try another door. Nicholas Cruz was also walking down the hall with one of the other students when gunshots were still being heard at the other end of the school. Folks, Governor Ron DeSantis needs to open up an investigation. They have to have a grand jury take a look at the evidence. It's overwhelming. Nicholas Cruz has been totally brainwashed. Did they ever do gunshot residue on his hands? Probably not, because they knew he didn't have any. Did they ever find out where he got the AR-15? Probably not, because he never did. Did they ever do ballistics on the bodies to see if the bullets that were fired came from the same gun? Well, they didn't, because they know that they didn't come from the same gun. Absolutely, completely, and totally insane. This is one of the videos that YouTube would take down because it goes against the narrative. It exposes the deep state. You can't make this stuff up, folks. Take a look at the clips. Listen to what Nicholas Cruz's brother says to him. You're not right in your head because he's not right in his head. He was brainwashed. His mind has been destroyed by MK Ultra, CIA. They did that shooting to put more pressure on to take away our Second Amendment rights. That's what it was all about. How do you have four SWAT officers leaving the scene of an active shooting, throwing a duffel bag in the back of an F-150 Ford? Huh? Come on, folks. Wake the hell up. Get a hold of Governor DeSantis. Show him this video. Have him look at these links. It's wrong. What they've done to Nicholas Cruz is wrong. 
they need to be held accountable. Who's they? You know who they is. The CIA. That's who they is. Gina Haspel's organization. Mike Pompeo's organization. Absolutely sickening. That's sort of what I think. Watch the clips. Tell me what you think. You need to repost this in all your social media accounts. You need to pass this along to your like-minded friends. You need to send a copy to Governor Ron DeSantis. He needs to open up a grand jury investigation. Absolutely amazing that this is being swept under the rug. That's what I think.